that's limited 7,000 litres capacity of one product. So um, we need something bigger. I do have, I have downloaded the bigger pallets, um, which I believe makes the production pallets a 10,000 litres instead of a thousand litres each. But the problem is, is the TLX can carry 7,000 litres of stuff. And so, um, yeah, it'll take 70% of a pallet. It gives me more room in the pallet loading area. I do need one more small lifting device. Uh, either a teletruck or something like that for the dairy so that we can lift things at the dairy and put them on trucks. Crunch. I want my eggs crunchy. Eggs crunchy. And small boy child needs to help Mrs. Osa eat her breakfast. It's something he's done since he was very small and eating. He actually came to us when he was about three months old, so he wasn't eating at that point. Okay, so... Dude, you're like a puppy. Let me get back on GPS. It just means I'm doing the rows as efficiently as I can. So I don't have to do extras. Done. How many? Boop, 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 there. Um, that's the one we're doing. So they reckon 13 minutes to do it, and we are oh, looking in the wrong place. 61% done. Looks like we've got more than enough fertilizer. So I've watched a couple of people who who've done videos saying using manure is a waste of time. You're better off selling the manure um, at the BGA or whatever other place will accept the manure, um, and then using the proceeds from the manure to buy your fertilizer to fertilize the fields. This is true when you're playing easy mode because manure is worth about 120 pounds per thousand liters. It's not true if you're playing in hard mode. For us, the best price on manure is 37 pounds per thousand liters, which is pitiful. Uh, we probably take about 30,000 litres to spread one of our fields and that's worth a thousand pounds and a thousand pounds is not enough to buy a full tank of liquid fertiliser. We wouldn't use a full tank of liquid fertiliser. But the economies of scale is there. The, 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 the hard mode with manure worth 25% of what it is in easy mode uh, makes it less viable. Um, with this map, the only place we can sell manure is at the BGA. The BGA can only process 50,000 litres at a time. So you can sell 50,000 litres, then you've got to wait a day before you can sell some more. And we're producing a ton of manure because we're playing with Maze Plus. So that's one issue. The uh, Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Um, 
Of course, the other issue is we're playing with precision farming. So the amount of manure we use to spread on a field is quite a bit lower than it would be to get like we're doing here we're raising the field level by one stage of fertilizer because we're still playing base game for um, contracts we just knock on our fields and so it takes me so much to do um, yeah unnatural fertilizer uh, purchase fertilizer as it does to <coughs> we would use a lot more manure by a factor of about 10 but we're raising it a full level with our fields we're we're inserting a certain amount of nitrogen and so I'm I'm using manure to bring the level of, of nitrogen up to about 100 kilos per hectare then I'm planting the field then I'm coming back out with the liquid fertilizer sprayer and um, spraying the germinated crops with exactly the amount of nitrogen they need. This is a metered sprayer. Um, we have complete control in how much fertilizer gets applied to, to the field. With the manure spreader, I'm doing it under manual mode. So um, we can get approximately what I think we need and then it reduces the cost of using this stuff but you know we've got the manure there and I don't have the haulage facilities or the processing facilities to deal with the amount that we're making so I've got to find an avenue to get rid of it and that avenue is dump it on the fields where it'll do some good how are we doing on the 89% uh, done looks like I've got one row left And that's it for fertilization contracts. There was a weeding contract, but we don't have a weeder. Um, well, there's a new fertilization contract. Ooh, let's sneak in and grab that one. Um, yeah, things are really... really ticking down here and not surprising I mean it's the end of the year we've done all of our stuff most of the other farmers have done all of their stuff we've got some sugar beets you know the, the late year crops need to be harvest Ted um, so what have we got on harvesting we've got grass we've got sugar beets potatoes sunflowers and corn that's it I don't have a corn or sunflower header, so I can't really do those. I would have to lease a header. I'm not, you know, we don't need any sunflowers, we don't need any corn, so I don't need to do that. Cereals are good for us. You know, sorghum, wheat, barley, oats. I'll do contracts on those because a lot of them deliver down at the flour mill which we own and we can't produce enough cereals to keep that mill processing for the entire year it's done um, we start we, we started loading it in September it's the end of October it's done processing all of the cereals we delivered to it Are we done? is this contract done uh, <coughs> Yes, I missed the completion message. Let's turn that off and fold that up. And we can claim that field 36 is somewhere else. Uh, oh, it's, it's across the road from where we live. And that's not the button I wanted to push. Okay. Uh, should I buy a pallet of fertilizer on the way down there? Ooh, that's a question. I've only got 830 litres. Well, I suppose we could 
So Dale, let's see what the farmer advises the need will be. Uh, okay, he reckons 1,400 litres. We do not have enough, so I'm going to buy an ABC, IBC on the way past the store. That's just prudent. And it's after midday, so potentially store sales may have um, switched. Oh, 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 cars. AI traffic, not so much something I look for, but something that uh, can make things a little bit more interesting. Okay, so going to check store. Um, what's on the sales? Nothing new. You know, Kate doesn't know how to put the paper We need liquid fertilizer. That's expensive. I okay. know she didn't because she's 15. And pull up to there. And yep, that's close enough. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I think they know why right she's behind the pillar. Okay, that's done. She doesn't know how to make a paper airplane. It's fine because she doesn't want to. Okay, so we now need to make our way. Ooh, and thanks for stopping right in front of me. All right, so. So sprayers, if you want to spot and spray, there are th three options I'm aware of. One is the John Deere that comes with the Precision Farming Pack. Um, and then there is the Cavernland, which Giants released on the Mod Hub after the main game release. And there's this one, the Kubota, which is basically a carbon copy of the Cavernland, but or orange instead of red. So you don't have to use the John Deere one. I think the John Deere one is equipped with Sea and Spray TM, whereas this is just a spot spray. Um, back in the cab because trees again. Yeah, this one is just spot spray. without the trademark but it functions the same so no big deal anyway we are I believe I need to turn right at the um, grocery store which is right here um, I think the path is on this side of the sign. Alrighty. She, she still isn't stopped by Stop it. And actually, it's quite a trek through here to get to that field, so. We. Oh. Breaks. So, November is the last month we can mow grass, so that is likely to be the contracts that we close out the year with. Uh, I believe I can turn right here. Um, so next month will be a lot of grass work. Ooh, I nearly missed the turn.
around here and hopefully I can get... Oh, it's the field to the right. Okay. Back and forth so much, I'm completely disoriented when it comes to which field I want to enter. Now... Ooh, what does that look like? That looks like a pillar. I wish I could lean forward, I can't. So, uh, I don't know where the entrance to this field is. Oh, this is an oat field that is growing. I think I want to go over there. Okay, that's... that's fine. And I think we'll need to clean this tractor when we get it back to the yard. Okay, I believe this takes us into the yard and turn to get into that field we've got to come out of the yard, so or not. Well that's handy. Okay. Unfold that and we can turn Okay, I need to reset, set a 90, enter, exit, so that doesn't move those lines right this minute, however, as soon as I edge forward, GPS recalculates and let's turn the sprayer on and get this done. And just because it's easier, I'm just going to cut straight across the field. We'll do the headlands and then we'll fill in that side, which is at an angle, and that side, which is meh, a little bit squarer. Oh. And how's about we engage GPS so that we actually follow the little green line rather than just driving aimlessly? Okay. Come on, cruise control on, let's drop. So, uh, I guess little dude needs a nap. Yeah. Anyway, I'll make this field blue. The mini map. This looks uh, not quite. quite the edge of the red field that we want. I don't think that's a big deal. We should probably keep clear it. Say hi to everybody. Oh, okay. Well, I tried. Yeah. 
But anyway, so... That means I get to do something at his No, you don't. He did it to me, so you do better. I mean, the nice thing is about this is we're not using up spray if we go over where we've already been. So it's a little bit more efficient than it was when we started way back in Farm Sim 17. That's a loop, nearly. I know you don't want to, but that's how you, what you need to do. Okay, that's, that's the once round the field done. We can, uh, I think I'll do a crossover here so we do the South side first. Yeah. And I need to make sure that we're edging in that way. Awesome stuff. Okay. videos have been out. Oh, Jingles has started off his uh, Deliver Us Mars series. He did Deliver Us the Moon a couple of years ago, which was interesting little story. And uh, the sequel to that has now been released. So uh, that's his Saturday series. Possibly his Wednesday series as well, since he doesn't seem to be doing his painting with jingles uh, stuff at the moment. Although he's been in his apartment for a, a while now, he's got his uh, painting room all set up. Maybe he needs some hints that uh, we need some painting with jingles or cooking with jingles. Okay, so that's filled up the holes that we had. I'm going to do this corner and then finish off that bed over there. Because we didn't do all the way to the edge. And we might need to do that. For right now. Keep checking back on the contract. Or not. Yeah, there we go. See if any new ones come up. Cultivating, harvesting, no. So to do cultivating, I would need to borrow the equipment again because we don't have a cultivator on the farm. And until I start doing root crops, I don't need... Well, actually, when we start doing root crops, I'm going to need a plow. Um, or when I do sunflowers and corn because you need to cultivate the ground before you can use a planter most of the time. I think there are a couple of uh, direct planters, but uh, if I do need to cultivate, then uh, we'll buy a cultivator then, and I can do cultivation contracts, but at the moment we're kind of limited to um, the uh, borrow the equipment thing. Plus, precision farming doesn't like cultivators. You'll get penalised if you don't direct drill. So... So occasionally on things like this, I would consider dropping the cruise control down to about 16 kilometers an hour for the, the turns at each end. Because otherwise you disengage the spray and it will go racing off at 63 kilometers an hour, which is 
Not good when you're trying to do a 180 degree turn on the field. But uh, as I've said, fortunately the sprayer only sprays where it hasn't been yet. So that's not a bad thing, at least for us. What I may do is disengage it now because we've got a long way to drive. And 30 kilometers an hour is good enough. So, a little patch there, which may or may not get sprayed, got sprayed. Good. And here we go for the rest of the field. So, I can go back on cruise. And 74% done. So, not bad. I need to watch out for the message so that we don't spray more than I need to because it would be nice not to waste all the, uh, the fertilizer. How much is this one paying? This one is paying 3500 No, hang on. So it pays... Ugh. It'll probably pay us about 5,100, no, 5,600 it should pay us, because we didn't borrow the equipment. The two numbers there, one is how much they will pay us, and the one, other one is the effective income when you factor in how much you just spent on all the... Um, oh, you... <laughs> really. Not what I had planned. So that's a little bit of a problem with GPS. Um, to activate GPS it's left alt and X and to fold up the equipment it's just X. So it didn't register the alt key. Okay it did that time. So as soon as the sprayer started folding up, it turned off and then we reset cruise control to 63 kilometers an hour. Not what I wanted to do. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't know what I was saying. Yes, the contracts. So if I turn off details, it just says you'll get paid 5611. Um, minus whatever you borrowed but this is saying effectively you're getting paid 3300 because you had to spend 2000 on uh, fertilizer probably depending what sort of fertilizer you used I mean if you use manure which technically we have the option of doing um, it wouldn't cost us any money at all it's just the amount of money you don't make from selling it. Now realistically would you put manure down on this field? Probably not because the seeds are already in the ground. Um, you usually put um, slurry manure digestate down before you put the seeds in the ground. Unless it's grass in which case you'd probably do that in January so that um, the nitrogen can soak into the grass um, and it's all washed off the grass before you start feeding it to your animals um, when you cut it in April, May sort of time. Okay, 96%, keep your eyes out for the message. 